Today we're going to work on our scientific literacy by looking at biodiversity and light and how they're related. So before we get started on our article, I want you guys to go to this website right here, which I have already linked, and it's in our Chrome Web Store. And what it has is this read and write for Google Chrome. So this is going to help us go through our articles. I've already installed it, but you'll click right here to install and make sure you have it for your EDU CBE account, which would be indicated right here. What's going to happen is you're going to get this little um, read and write for Google Chrome up in the corner here, which is like a little puzzle piece. So when you go back to your article on the light, you're going to click the puzzle piece and you're going to get this extra um, toolbar up here. Now, this is pretty cool because you can set this here and you can actually have all of these things go through. So you've got to check it a prediction, your dictionary, your picture dictionary, and then you can press press play. Sex, speciation, and fishy physics. March 2009, update added July 2011. HTTPS. So you can have it read to you just by clicking this button here. So this will work with any article. It'll work right off the internet. So if you want to go to the actual article, which is at this link down here and read through the scientific article, the only difference is just the format. Um, I made it look a little bit user, more user friendly here, but you can have all of this read to you. You also can take screenshots. Um, I'm not actually sure what the audio maker is. You can look up things on the web search. You can have a translator. Then you've got highlighters and multiple colors of highlighters here. So as you're annotating through, it says right here, it's not in big letters, but remember to highlight, underline, add your thoughts as you go through this article to help you understand and make connections. So you also have, um, you can practice it reading it aloud and you can take voice notes as you go through. So if you find a word that you're not sure what it is, like illuminate, you can come over here and look at the dictionary and it will give you um, what it is, but it will also Verb. read it to you. Make lighter or brighter. This lamp lightens the womb a bit in quote. Verb. Oh, I didn't mean to make that play again, but you can also get a picture, picture dictionary. So there wasn't a picture dictionary for that one. I wonder if there's a picture dictionary for evolution. Oh, how cool is that? So you've got like the fish going to the lizard, to the dinosaur, and the ape to a homo sapien, a homo something else, and then to the homo sapien here. So that's cool. It's giving you that kind of things. Now in here, all of these blue highlighted words you can click on and you can go to the actual glossary that it was given to you, like that was given in the original article, but I thought these looked a little bit hard. So we also have them in a glossary over here on the side. So there's a lot of stuff. It looks really long, but it's really actually not. It's just because I turned it um, to a landscape. So it's not actually that much to read through, but I encourage you to have it read to you. And this is a very important link at the very bottom. If you are still confused, you need to watch this video. It will explain the article. It may actually be a really good idea for you to watch that one first, then read the article, and if you're still confused, watch it again. It does explain it quite well. All right, you do not need to fill out a summary on this one. Uh, you will be doing a Google form on it. So I will link that as well. If you have questions on how to use this read and write um, for Google, feel free to contact your teacher and we will definitely help you out with that. It's an excellent tool and we encourage you to use it.